Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an Ethernet adapter error code 31. So perhaps you're having an incorrect driver or there's some error in there, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. So start by opening up the start menu. Left click on the start button one time and you want to go ahead and type in regedit. So R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back with Registry Editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that. And then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to go ahead and left click on Yes. So before you do anything in the Registry Editor, I would highly suggest you make a backup of it. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Just left click on the File tab up at the top left. Left click on Export. Make sure extra range is selected to all, and then name the file whatever is convenient. More than likely, just naming it the date in which you're making the backup is probably a good idea. And then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And then left click on Save to actually save the file. And if you ever needed to restore your registry back, just go ahead and left click on the File tab. And then just left click on Import, and you would navigate to locate the file. So very straightforward. So once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on the folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it. And you want to go ahead and expand the system folder now. Expand current control set. Expand the control folder. And then you want to look for network. So once you have network selected here, you want to go ahead and now you want to left click on the network folder. On the right side there should be something that says config. You want to go ahead and right click on it and then left click delete. Left click on yes to confirm deletion. Close out of here. And now I would suggest opening up the start menu. Type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager here. Left click on that. And then you want to go ahead and expand the network adapter selection. For whatever your network connection is here, just want to right click on it and left click on update driver. Search on Mac for your updated driver software. And hopefully it'll find some stuff. And once you're done checking for updates, it would suggest restarting your computer as well. And hopefully it should have been able to resolve your problem. You can always try a system restore as well to restore your system back to an earlier time. I've done that before as well, so that can be successful. So that's something also you can try in addition to what I've already shown in this tutorial. And you can see this is the best drivers for your device are already installed. If you search update drivers on Windows Update, it'll actually open up Windows Update here, which I don't know if we really want to do. But hey, you know, it's worth a shot. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.